breaking shapes into equal parts. Take a look at this square. The entire space inside the square is referred to as its area. Suppose we divide this square into equal parts like this, and then shade only one part out of the four parts. Now, can you tell how much of the total area does the shaded part have? Since we divided our square into four parts, we actually divided its total area into four equal parts as well. So, this shaded space represents the area of one out of four equal areas. Or in other words, one-fourth of the total area. Combining the areas in all the four smaller parts will give us our original total area. Let us now look at another shape. This time, it is a rectangle. Again, the entire space inside the rectangle is its total area. If we divide the rectangle into eight equal parts like this, then how much of the total area does each part have? Dividing a shape means dividing its total area. So here, each part is one out of eight equal areas. Or we can say one-eighth of the total area. In this lesson, you learned how to partition shapes into equal areas and express each part as a unit fraction.